All right, y'all, so as we continue our tour of Fort Donaldson here, show you guys a little bit of what the fences used to look like uh, back in the day. Anyways, you can, uh, you can see it here. It's a pretty nice little fence, actually. Uh, can get a little close up. This is how they used to build them. Pretty much used to stack them on top of each other, uh, crisscross them, and uh, seemed to work pretty good, actually. Anyways, yeah, to show you a little bit of that. I thought, I love this stuff. You know, I think it's really nice to uh, learn a little bit of your down south history and all that anyways this is how the fences were done hope you guys enjoy that one all right so here we are here mounds of earth uh actually created the fort if you look at this picture here apparently where we're standing is right here and if you look out above the valley that i'm getting ready to show you you can see the hills that made the fort and you can look out and it's kind of like a bowl almost like a valley anyways and I'll show you this up here I don't know if y'all be able to see it or not you can kind of read it a little bit though you read the first paragraph there and anyways so yeah and then I'll show you this over here Y'all can read it, pause the video or something if you want. Get this all in the video. Okay, but anyways, so as I showed you on this little map here, we are positioned right there. And if you look out over across here, you can see that's like a valley over there. And apparently, down in the middle there, is where the troops were the confederate troops and the slaves and you look out across there and there was walls that were built up on top of the ridges and this was the where the old fort was and i can probably walk around a little bit look down in there a little bit they kind of don't want you going down in there though I'll try to keep it as good as possible but there's trees down there and uh obviously those trees weren't in there back in the day and uh so yeah that's where the fort was and look and see and again this is uh, Dover Tennessee where Fort Donaldson is all right we'll move on all right so here we are again now uh, just a second ago we we're right over there on the other side of that ridge there and we was looking out across here if you look down there this is uh, again you can get a little bit more view of the fort here in the in the valley of where the fort was and you look down in there it's actually pretty nice and again, there's walls all up along here. And then we got a little little house right there, what they used to used to live in. We'll take a walk down there. Just a second. Take, take a little peek inside, actually. Look down in here. There's a bunch of bees, so I ain't been going up in there. But, uh, yeah, we'll take a little peek in and see what it's all about up in there. A bunch of little wood bees. It's like they got it filled up with some, some, some bales, though. But, uh... Anyways, we'll take a little peek in there. Maybe I won't get stung. Yeah, so you can see in there, maybe. See a little fireplace. And a little table there. They, like I said, they got it filled up with uh, with uh, hay bales and stuff. But yeah, you can see up in there. This right here is where a fireplace would have been. They would have done their cooking. Maybe out here or something. And then, of course, the house. And then right down there is, the, is where the fort would have been. Alrighty. All right, so here's the river. It's where Confederates and Union troops used to use to travel. There's cannons overlooking the river. Cannons are right up there. I'll show you those in just a moment. Show you how big they are. But yeah, hills, people used to shoot over them.
All right, so I don't know if y'all can see this or not. Cannons, cannons up there on the ridge, looking down over the river. And again, we'll go up there and we'll see them. See what the Confederates saw when they were looking out over at the Union troops coming up on their boats. And again, looking out over the river. All right, so this right here is what the Confederate troops would have, uh, this is what they would have been, been in whenever they was defending the fort here, as you a cannon, shoot the boats. Again, it's a pretty sizable cannon. And this up in here is where they kept all the ammunition for cannons, guns, all that stuff for the troops. Actually quite a small space. Put my hand in here. You can see. Not very wide, not very tall at all. I'm actually crouching down. And you can see the cannonballs. I would go in there, but they got it chained off, so... Can't go in there. And these are the Confederate trenches. Right wing of the outer defenses, as you can see here. Trench line. It goes all the way. Soldiers would get behind these, these dirt hills and they'd shoot Union troops as they's coming up the hill. The high ground was one of the most priceless pieces of ground that the Confederates could have, and looks like they had it here. I tell you what, I just love this country you know especially coming to an old Civil War battlefield seeing what the other troops Confederate soldiers where they were back in the day I just love the South wish I never would have moved from it there's just some things the South has that you just can't get anywhere else I'll tell you what, this right here is one of them things. Alright, this is where the video is going to end. This right here is the monument. Confederate monument raised by the daughters of the Confederate state of Tennessee or Daughters of the Confederacy of Tennessee, rather. This right here. <clears throat> this right this monument was raised in honor of the Confederate troops because, because the Union, or sorry, because the Confederacy fought against the Union. The troops that died were not allowed to be buried in the National Graveyard, or whatever it's called. So their bodies were never moved. A lot of them were buried here or maybe uh, maybe moved to their hometowns or buried there. Those soldiers weren't allowed to be buried in the National Cemetery. So this monument was 
like I said, raised up by the daughters of the Confederacy of Tennessee. And here's what it says right here. I think it's a rather nice monument. Alrighty, and I hope that you you enjoyed this video on Fort Donaldson here in Dover, Tennessee. I enjoyed the tour. I enjoyed the walk. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And like always, or I guess not like always, it's the first video. <laughs> Stay tuned because I'm going to have more videos coming up. All things about the South. Not all of them are going to be about forts and civil war and confederacy it's i like food fishing hunting so i guess stay tuned for more videos and until then have a good one